Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to bake your own custom cookie in Photoshop. This tutorial is in two parts. Part 1 shows you how to design the face of your cookie and Part 2 shows you how to transform your design into the actual cookie and place it in perspective on a background. I provided this retro pattern for you to download. The link is located in the video's description or project files. This document is 1300 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of your document. Press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag out a circle. We'll fill the circular selection with black, and since black is the foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. If your foreground color isn't black, press the letter D or click on the small black and white icon. Delete the selection by pressing Control or Command D. Open your Type tool and go to Window and Character, and then Window and Paragraph. Make sure the symbol for center text is highlighted. Open the character panel and choose a font. I'm using Frankfurter Medium, which you can download for free at fontzone.net. The color is white. If the color box isn't white, click on it and pick white. I'll choose 190 point size. Type out your text. It can be one line or as many as you want. If you want to decrease the size of any line, highlight it and drag the T icon of the font size to the left. To slide words up, drag the T icon for letting to the left. To increase the space between words, highlight the lower word and drag the letting to the right. To reposition your text, click on your Move tool and move it. Now that we have the text in place, we need to change the color to black. Highlight your text. Click on the color box and pick black. Click on the FX button and choose Stroke. Click on the color box and choose White. Make the size 15 pixels. The position is outside and the blend mode normal. We can close the text panels now. Go to the New Layer button. Control click it if you're on a PC or Command click it if you're on a Mac. This makes a new layer below the active layer. Control click or Command click on the black circle to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select and Transform Selection. Go to a corner and when you see a straight double arrow, press Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it in. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 10 pixels, the location outside, and make the color white. Then delete the selection. If you want your text to move over slightly, press the arrow keys on your keyboard. For example, I'd like to move this text slightly to the left. I'll click on the text layer to make it active and press the left arrow key a few times. We're ready to make dots that encircle the ring. Make a new layer below the text. We'll name this layer Dots and the layer below it Ring. Make the Dots layer active and control click or command click on the black circle to make its shape into a selection. As before, go to Select and Transform Selection. Drag it in but a little outside of the ring. Then press Enter or Return. Right click the selection and choose Make Work Path. Leave the tolerance at 0.5 pixels and click OK. Click on your pencil tool and press F5 to open your brush presets. In the Brush Tip Shape panel, you can keep Smoothing checked, but none of the other boxes. I'm choosing a size of 20 pixels and the hardness 
The spacing determines how far apart the dots will be. Based on the circumference of your circular work path, you'll probably have to try different spacing amounts to get it just right. For my work path, I'm choosing a spacing of 200%. Click on the arrow at the top right corner of the Layers panel and choose Stroke Path. Make sure the tool is Pencil and Simulate Pressure is not checked. Then click OK. To hide the work path, you can either press Ctrl or Command H or click anywhere in the gray area in the Paths panel. Now we can close the brush presets. Open the Layers panel and Control click or Command click on the ring layer to make a selection of its shape. Press Q to make it into a quick mask. Open your Paint Bucket tool and make sure white is your foreground color. If it isn't, press D and then X. Click outside the ring to delete that portion of the quick mask. Press Q again to make it into a selection. Invert the selection by pressing Control shift i on a PC or Command shift i on a Mac. Make a new layer and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask of the selection next to the empty layer. We'll name it Inside Shape. Click on the chain link to turn it off. Now we can move or resize the layer or its respective layer mask independently of the other. We're ready to make the shapes that frame our text. Open your Rectangular Marquee tool and drag out a rectangular selection leaving a little room above the top of your text. Go to the bottom and press and hold Shift as you add another rectangular selection but this time leaving a little room below the bottom of your text. Make another rectangle that frames the left side and then go to the top right and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag a rectangle down and across just to the left of the center of your text. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 10 pixels, the color white, and the location inside. Delete the selection. Let's add some small rings inside the rectangular shapes. Make a new layer and name it Circle. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and place your cursor inside one of the shapes. Press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac as you drag out a circular selection. To reposition it, press Shift, Alt and the spacebar on a PC or Shift, Option and the spacebar on a Mac and then move it. Go to Edit and Stroke. Click OK and then delete the selection. Continue to make small rings inside the remaining rectangular shapes. If you want to add a straight line from a corner to the ring, press B to open your pencil tool and F5 to open your brush presets. Make the size 10 pixels and slide the spacing all the way to the left. Click on the corner press shift and click on the ring to make a straight line. Let's merge all the rectangular shapes and the small rings into one layer. Press Control or Command E each time to merge the top layer with the layer below it. When you reach the layer with the layer mask this window will appear. Click Preserve. Make a copy of it and go to Edit, Transform, and flip horizontal. Press and hold shift as you slide the copy to the right until it's positioned correctly. Merge the inside shapes of the left and right halves into one layer. Now that we have our design we're ready to bake it into a cookie. We'll do that in part two of this tutorial. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.